I saw him invade a lady's personal space. I got in between them and I took a stand back. Well, you guys were both on other sides. Like side on. What happened? You, guys size. you were standing over there, he was over here. So, how did this happen? He, I saw him in a lady's personal space. I stepped between them and I stepped back. Where's that lady now? Is she around? Can we break this up? He's not in anyone's yeah. personal space. I don't want his hand on my face like that again. Uh, he, he Why are you addressing me and not him? He's putting his hand on my face. Because you seem like the a reasonable person. guy right now. And he doesn't? That seems rude to him, doesn't it? Are you a reasonable man too? I think so. But I think that you're the one who's on... If he takes a step back first, I'll take a step back. We, we don't have to, but we can all stay in the same spot. There we go. Thanks. Thanks. Good enough. I just wanted to know I could be civil. You guys were civil. That was, that was easy. Thank you. Remember that? Nivena, eight cities of Nivena. What happened? No rapture. Guess your Bible is fake. It's coming all the time. Yeah, when's, when's the, the date? All the time. When's, the, when's the date? Nobody for the knows but him. Okay. When's Nobody the knows when's but the him. Date? What, what's the date? But not through the pink scam that the Bible is. It's a thousand years in the Bible that's an unknown time. And his time period is far off from ours. That, that it could be tomorrow for all you know, or it could be in a hundred years. If you guys have your spiritual awakening, you will understand that you've been lied to your whole entire life. Jesus will forgive you. Don't you love the You really think that that's godly? Let me ask you a question. Did Jesus, did Jesus ask Mr. Rittenhouse to kill people? Yeah. Uh, okay, so so by the Bible, he's a murderer. He gave you, you free will for a reason. He gave you free will for a reason. But he killed. But he killed. Do you think Jesus is for war? Do you think he's for war? Jesus loves Do you think he would be pro Second Amendment if he was here? If Jesus was here, he would he be pro Second Amendment. What Kyle was Jesus gave you free will. I don't know what to say, man. Yes. He gave you free will. He forgives your sins. He forgave five times. Would he be a murderer in his eyes? Yes, Jesus. Yes, Is he? Does he have conservative views? It doesn't matter. Jesus loves you. Conservative or liberal or wherever you stand, Jesus loves you. If Jesus loves you, like, how do you think he would, like, react to, like, you know, Kyle killing people? You know, there were times Jesus wept in the Bible, but guess what? He loves everybody. He died for you. He died for you. I just did. No, no, no. I asked you, how do you think Jesus would feel about Kyle killing people? He would have probably wept, but guess what? He forgives him. What if Kyle didn't defend himself and he was the one that I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. And if he didn't, guess what? Jesus still forgives you. He forgives you for all your sins. Yes. He forgives you. He does. That's not how that works. She answered his head. Yeah. Yeah. So I, li I went to Catholic. I, I grew up Catholic. I went to church like three times a week. That's not how it works. No, that's not how it works. Yeah, you fucking hell. We don't want a case here. Yeah. 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 Does anyone actually know what happened with that? I don't. What, what was the story? I'm asking. I'm asking. I don't know what I know, but I mean, I could. I am not like. I will be your next congressman if you vote for me. <laughs> I have seen I have seen very well educated students today out here. I haven't seen anyone educated in there. The first the first word that I got from someone that was inside was calling me a faggot. That's not education to me. That's not education to me. That is just being uneducated and just homophobic in many other ways. I didn't call him anything. I just randomly walked. I saw it happen. But that's the first thing that he approached and said. He called me a faggot. 
the gentleman over here. Oh. Oh, you're at national. But then I asked him, did he ask him to be civil? You're the one instigating the situation right now, but let's talk about the Second Amendment. Lesson, lesson, lesson. The First Amendment said that we have to wait because you can't talk about the Second Amendment, which is the reason we're here. Then let's talk. Let's talk about it. What, what do you think about it? No, please hit me. What do you think about it? What do you have to say about it? You want to talk about it? Listen, I'm not a libertarian. Let's just start there. Libertarians, libertarians, libertarians believe in the Here we go. No sense. If you're a libertarian, your protest against his use of the Second Amendment makes no sense. Here, here's my thing. I'm not protesting against the Second Amendment. I am all, I am all for you. As I want to have my gun. I want you to have yours. No, 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 no. I, no, I'm, protest, I'm protesting against anybody under the age of 18 to not own a weapon. He was. Yes, he was! Okay, then, so the fuck what? So the fuck what? You don't ever, have you ever been hunting? Have you ever been hunting? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen, don't argue with them. Let's, let's stop. Listen, don't, 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 don't. You are not legally allowed to have a weapon. Give me, give me the, the time. time. I'm talking. I'm having a man-to-man -man no, conversation. I'm, I'm having a man-to-man -man conversation. Please step back. No, no, so, so, I'm, I'm all for everybody who's an adult over the age of 18 and and and, and has that in the Constitution. Was those words provided for in the Constitution? Now we should have all these regulations. The ATF needs to be abolished, and there needs to be no regulations on guns because the high constitutionalists, the most highly regulated, the most highly. The most highly regulated gun law states and cities have the highest crime rates. If you don't believe me, you can pull out your phone and look it up right now. So what, so what, hold on. So what does any more regulations make anything safer? He, hold on, hold on. He was safe. The businesses he was protecting was safe, and the people that he was with were safe. Correct? Would you agree with that? Would you agree with that? I agree that safe, but let me ask. Let me ask you a question. No, 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 no. no. Let me. Let, but, but, but there's an argument. There is. No argument past that. What he let you talk. Can, can, can we be civil, though? Can we be civil? No, I don't want to talk to you, dude. Because you keep coming up to me trying to talk to me. I don't even want to talk to you that much, bro. Why can you be civil? You just you see this side, right? No, I don't want to talk to you. Are you a Republican or a Constitutionalist? Let me ask you that. Are you a Republican or a Constitutionalist? You don't know what you are. That's the problem. You don't know what you are. Why, what are you then? Are you a Republican or a Constitutionalist? Christian American conservative. Okay, you are a Nationalist white Republican. That's all I need to hear. Your people. Your people. You don't shit. You're right behind here. Hey. Hey, black conservative over here, man. Get at us, man. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you cannot be black and conservative. I didn't say that. Tell me one person of color that Kyle Rittenhouse shot. You can't. Let me let me let me tell you. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you cannot be of color. I'm not saying you can't be black and be a, be a Republican. I have many friends that are black and are Republicans. I, my family is Latino, and some of them are Republicans. What I'm asking him is, if he's a Republican or a Constitutionalist, because if he's a Constitutionalist, he believes in the Constitution. Period. He doesn't believe. He doesn't believe. Republicans believe in the laws. They believe in law and order, not in the Constitution. The Constitution I was there. I was there that night. What if I told you? Your party is about law and order. Would you believe me then? Because that's what Trump said. He's about law and order. So the law says that nobody under the age of 18 shall not own a gun. The Constitution says differently, but the Constitution. The was created in a time where those where those laws apply because people have more common sense. People understand that a five-year-old should not be carrying a gun because a five-year-old may go to school and shoot everybody. I'm not saying take the guns away from you or me who are adults, who are consenting adults. If we are consenting adults, you, let me ask you. You and I are consenting adults. You, do you think we should, we should have the right to, to smoke marijuana? We're consenting adults. It's legal. Should we have the right to do so? It's legal. Okay. So we're consenting adults though. You, you're not okay with children doing it. Am I correct? 
No, I mean, I would have, I'm not okay with children. Exactly. I think everybody should be 21 or older to consume cannabis. I'm an advocate for the legalization of recreational adult use cannabis. I'm also and I'm also an advocate for the for the recreational use of guns and firearms for adults 21 or older. I don't think that anybody under the age of 18, let me correct myself actually, let me go back, 18 or older. I don't believe that anybody under the age of 18 shall have a weapon. You can have a knife. I don't have a problem with a kid. I mean, I don't have a problem with a 15 or 16 year old having a, gu a, a knife. I don't have a problem when it becomes a gun. Because a fire weapon can be used in many different ways. Everybody who's an adult, consenting adult, should have a gun. If you are consenting and you're mentally okay, you should have a gun. If you're gonna go tomorrow with your gun and shoot me because of because of what I believe, I don't think you should have a gun. If you're gonna go and shoot and shoot me because I'm your wife and I cheated on you, you should not have a gun. If that's your mental state, you should not have a gun. But but if you there's definitely gun to have. You gotta, you gotta have. We need more background checks. You gotta you should be able to pass an IQ test, a psych test. I appreciate. You absolutely need all of that. Like there is common ground here. Like I don't you, think you anybody. Ground, right? you see, I'm civil, like you know what? I appreciate that. We're like, being yeah. civil. There's got to be more done. You know, but my whole argument is. My whole argument is we just, oh, sorry. My whole argument is we just got to continue to crack down on people. It's not necessarily a Second Amendment issue. We just got to continue to crack down on people. You know more background now. checks, more IQ tests, more psych tests. Get guns out of the hands of all the wrong people, all the bad people. I don't want to let you know what I'm saying. Yes, because that's what we want. We want gun reform. You guys want gun reform. Yeah, we want. I also believe in the Second Amendment. And I also believe in the Second Amendment. And I also believe that we have the right to bear arms. And I also believe that there's, there's no reason to have guns. And I also believe that we have the right to bear arms. And I also believe that there's, there's no, there's not an issue. There's not an issue with having an AR-15. I also believe that... I believe that if the government can have it, why can't I? Yeah. If the government has a tag, why the fuck can I don't want a tag? students have a voice. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking, you know? So let me, let me, let me tell you. So, Most of the people... So, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing over here... I'm seeing the many of these people over here, and I'm gonna tell you right now, because I see a couple of... Let's go grab this first. I'm 100% sure that Start I'm about... Start moving that way! Please stop moving that way. I'm 100% sure that I'm about... Hey, go that way, guys. Let's over here. Start moving that way. They're listening. Okay, next time I'll put your hands on me. Just learn me, please. I do appreciate it. Touch so, next... He did. Sorry. Yeah, so next, you know... What I, what, I was, what I was saying is, most of these people would not probably vote for Biden. None of us will vote for Biden. At least I'm not. I'm voting third party. I'm voting. This year, I'm actually voting Libertarian because I believe in the Libertarian candidate who is a gay, is a, is a, is a gay li Libertarian who's also very socialist and very, and very conservative at the same time, has the best views for me. I just wanted to say that I think that the issue that most of us take doesn't have to do with anything like, I mean, obviously, we all want gun reform, and you were saying you also want gun reform, but the reason why I myself am protesting here today is because Kyle Rittenhouse stands on hateful rhetoric, and he's literally using Kent State campus property as a platform to spread that hateful rhetoric, and I think that that's why we're here. Yeah. Because that hateful rhetoric, all it's going to do is cause violence yeah. and harm. Yeah. And so I think that that's more what it's really about. Sure. Anybody who's violent, we don't want on campus. Yeah. Anybody who's hateful, we don't want on campus. Mm -hmm. It makes so many students feel unsafe. Yeah. I'm a trans student. I feel significantly less safe with him on campus. Yeah. Because I know that he has the capability through his hateful rhetoric. You know, he's been violent in the past. What would stop him from inciting violence now? You know. Right. Yeah. So that's, I think, the issue that a lot of us take with it. And as a, you know, white trans person, I have a lot of privilege. And if I feel unsafe, imagine how unsafe BIPOC queer people feel, BIPOC people in general feel. It's just not fair for someone that's supposed to be a safe space for them. Also, yeah. the history can stay has. Exactly. Like he's a known perpetrator of gun violence. Yeah. Like. And May 4th is less than a month away. And this camp was also the perpetrator. He was the perpetrator by law. He was found to be the victim. He was the lawful self-defense killer. Victim about? or not, let me ask you this question. Again, what I was asking the gentleman, what I was asking the gentleman behind you. He defended himself. What should he say? Let me, let me, let me ask you. He, I said what I said directly was. It was a self-defense action. What I said directly was he was a perpetrator of gun violence. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you for being yeah. steps, yeah. Chris. How can it be self-defense? Yeah, how can it be? It is still a violence. He wasn't being charged for a, a, a assault. He said he in there that he doesn't trust, like, fully trust juries, but he trusts his juries. Can I ask you a question? Why not? I but 
jurors I said, sat I said there what I said. looked at all the evidence. I said what I said, and that was that he was a perpetrator of gun violence. That is all I. That is what but I you're said. Wrong. It, you it's will completely not get to, you will not okay. get to manipulate my words about that. I mean, the you can be wrong all you want, and you can be reinforced in your wrongness all you like. Can but I ask you a question? Thank you. And it's completely self-defense, completely so justifiable. It is why, are we, why are we acting like it's not? It's it's do you believe that you believe hey. the minor should have the right to have a weapon? It's objectively not violent. I believe that anyone that is being assaulted by adult perpetrators my question. should it's be able to protect them. Do you, do you believe that anybody in the or a minor should have a what? weapon? What? Should a minor be a victim of a violent assault? A violent but, 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 but that happens every day. It happens every day and you don't see minors shooting. But should they be? That's why there's laws out there to support those people. Yeah, like self Threat, like constitutional care means but that constitution does not apply to a minor your person your way of life okay let me ask you again the question do you believe that a minor under the age of 18 should have a gun i believe that everybody has a god-given right to have a gun okay okay so you're saying everybody so that means you believe in minors the right a gun. security for a free state but right? but but, 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 but are, you a, are you a republican or a constitutionalist why yeah. so, okay. so, 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 are you a republican or a constitutionalist i say both are you both Okay, which one do you put first? Constitutional first. A constitutional list. Over party. Okay, okay. okay. so constitutional list is a party. Just a start. It's a political party. Constitutional list party is a party. I'm, I mean, in like, uh, but, but, but they follow the constitution. No, 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 sir. There is a child who brought a gun into school and shot their teacher because they had access to a gun when they were far too young. You are just trans people in danger. A trans person who went and shot at the school said trans people go through more psychological tests. Wow, how respectful. I'm sorry. I'm talking about a child, and there was also a teen trans person who went and shot up a school as well. So should trans people you think that go through more psychological testing before being able to go through their transitions? I'm not even really going to answer that question because that question is fucking ridiculous and transphobic in here. Your question is inherently transphobic, and as a trans person, I'm not going to give you the time. I'm just asking you. So, I'm just asking you. You may not have heard about it before. It's not really shown on the news. I'm just asking you. Objectively, first of all, not a crime. I'm not feminine presenting, but thank you. My eyes must be deceiving me then. All right, I've heard enough. I gotta get out of here, man. The flagrant transphobia is very bold. Yeah, now, now we're starting to agree on I'm for abolishing most of the government. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to make that very clear. I, I am for abolishing many government sites. I arrest, fuck out of here. Yeah. Look, most Congress needs to leave. We don't need that many Congress people. We don't need that many people there. There should, they should be limits on what elected officials. I concur. Right now, Trump nor Biden should be elected. Yeah. And I, I think we, should, we have many options on third parties that are beautiful, great to be selected. The Libertarian Party has amazing candidates. Nobody's looking at them. They're, they are the right age to run. They are in the per they are perfectly healthy. You know, then you have people like Trump and Biden. Yes, they they, they could do both. They could, could they do the job? Maybe. I didn't see anything good from either of them. But no, especially this side, especially with all the things going on right we now. We haven't seen anything good, and it's coming. And people look at him. People say, you know, Biden changed the gas price, and he has no power over gas. That that theory was created to go against a president that doesn't even know what the fuck he's doing because he's crazy and he's old. You, you bring but, a, a fantastic point about the blow is that this Kyle situation, you can blame Kyle all you want. It's the situation that was cultivated by law enforcement not doing their job, by individuals but partaking by everything but, else. But that, you know what that's telling us? But that's, te but that's telling us, what is, it, what is that telling us? That's telling us that we need police reform, don't we? Oh, absolutely. That is telling us that we need police reform. Across the board at every so, so we need to we need to train police officers to do a better job, either either that or immediately abolish and, re and renew the police department. Well, they need to be a peace officer more than anything. A, a, a peace officer to de-escalate and to control situations. You see this? Does it, doesn't, does it look like the escalation team to you? For the most part, they seem fine. It, it doesn't seem like they have, they have weapons ready. They, they, they're all holding. It doesn't look like the escalation to me. I mean, they're more scared now, about I'm, I'm, safety I'm, I'm, of everybody I'm on saying, campus. Are they they're not doing their job right? No. I think they're all doing the, their job perfectly. They're here. That's all, that's all I care for. I mean, I'm not pro police, but no, no, I appreciate I'm not, I'm not pro I appreciate that. I'm not pro police, but I appreciate that they're here. Do I feel safer with them being here? No, I could feel safe the same exact way. I can defend myself as they probably won't defend me. Let me say 
that. They will probably arrest me and then arrest the other person. I have experience being arrested plenty of times, even though when I was assaulted, and in, in, the, in the court of law has been approved that I was assaulted, but I was in jail for three or four days because police arrested me first and an hour later arrested the individual. Dude, like, which actually, this gentleman over here has it all on his channel, and you can definitely check it. I'm pretty sure it's news to chair. You can definitely find it online. Sorry, not promoting, but you can find it. So, and you can find it in the exact same situation. That's what I'm saying. There is. There's laws that were created and there's entities that were created for a specific scared. reason, <laughs> right? So what I'm thinking like, is, if we are gonna have law, if we're gonna have the right to bear arms, which again, I am all for everybody who's 18 plus consenting adult to have the right to bear arms. What about uh, people who have gone, they've been incarcerated but have served their debt to society and are paid up on their legal fees? Should their rights be reinstated? Because I'm in favor of it. If you've depending, done- Depending depending on what the right is. So if we're talking about someone who went out and if we're talking about someone who committed a mass murder no there should be no reason why the guy who shot in florida the what the short the florida shooter i don't remember his name i think it's like Cruz, something like that yeah. there's no reason why he should come back to society and be allowed to have a gun i mean there's no as way a, he should a, be a part of society get he won he won but if, he, if, if there was, in, in a world there wasn't there wasn't this one that were to happen i believe that he shouldn't have the access the, the access to have a gun again but like what do you have about uh, like I, a, I also believe that pedophiles should not have the access to have a gun oh yeah and pedophiles should not have pedophiles should not be out in the world no they, 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 they should be they should be they should be either treated treated or incarcerated or or treated, um, but not let around society that can be then can be touched by them. Absolutely, they have the highest recidivism rate of any crime. But, but, that's, <laughs> where but that's where I'm going. A pedophile should not own a gun, and nor, and nor should be a felon that came out of jail from killing someone. Now, if you're a felon for, from tax, from stealing some money out of, the, out of the IRS, I don't care. Fuck the IRS. The IRS can burn in hell. So if it's like care. a non-violent crime, you'd be, uh, you'd be for crime, like reinstatement of the right. They should have the right to own a gun. As they okay. have the right when they get out of jail, they should also have the right to immediately be able to vote. Yeah, I, I, I think should, that's a fair you should not, you should, And when you're in jail, you should also, as an American citizen, you should also have the right to vote inside of jail because you're an American citizen. You know, right now, most, the only territory of the United States that can vote is D.C. Puerto Rico doesn't vote, but every law that the United States makes applies to Puerto Rico, but they don't have a voice. Their congressperson has no voice whatsoever in Congress. I mean, it is, it's a terrible situation of, of what do you do? If you're in jail and you're an American citizen, why should your vote be taken away? It honestly should. It shouldn't. They're worried about corruption. Well, I can do corruption outside of a prison cell. That's not the... And, and that's the problem. It all plays back to the two-party system. Yeah. The two-party system is what's bringing us here today. The two-party system has put us in a war then you and I cannot talk. I had an amazing conversation with this gentleman over here. A perfect civil conversation. We put our political parties aside and had a talk. There's, we can talk as civilians as long as the political parties are not affecting us. Democrat and Republican are two labels that have always been made to attack us. Our first president literally said that, part, that a two-party system will kill us. And exactly what happened, a two-party system is slowly killing us. Because they're not such a thing as a conservative. A conservative these days, they use that name as an excuse to call themselves that they're a Republican. As, as a liberal, may say I'm a liberal to avoid to say that I'm a Democrat. I am a socialist libertarian. I believe in common sense, the right for everybody to do whatever the fuck they want. If, if you want to create an OnlyFans, that's up to you. If you want, if you want to be, if you want to be a prostitute, that is up to you. Who did Jesus hang out with? Prostitutes. I mean, it is the land of the, the Bible. Bible. It, is the land of, it, is, it is the land of the free. If you want to date whoever you want to date, that is up to you. Absolutely. If you feel, if you feel comfortable changing your gender, that is up to you. If you were born in the wrong body. And you feel that you and you feel that you want to reinstate that? That is up to you. And I, nor the government, should have an opinion on that. But the person who's doing it, the government should not be involved in these affairs. And that's my biggest thing. Now, should there be? A, should there be? When we're talking about, you, you, when I'm when I think universal health care, let me go to that because I say you know everybody should have the right universal universal health care. I believe that everybody should have the right to health care. Are you including? Because uh, some people don't include like the gender affirming stuff in that conversation. Affirming. Are you? Okay. I'm also including that if you that if you feel that your boobs are too little, you can get them. Done. I was including that if, my, that if my ass is too little, it can be done. You know why? Because that's somehow that still affects your mental health, which is gender affirmance. You know, it, it helps. It's mental health. It's mental health part. And this country is one of the biggest countries with mental health issues in the world. We are suffering. Our, we are, our suicide rates are going higher and higher by the day. People are going downhill. Jobs are getting lost. People are not doing things right. It's not easy to live in America. It's not easy. This country doesn't make it easier for anybody. And then, and then you have Republicans and Democrats up in the White House and in Congress for 99 years plus. Like Senator, Senator Feinstein, who fucking died in Congress, 
I mean, sorry, in the Senate. She died in the Senate. She still was there until she died. Why do we have politicians dying and in their in their elected positions? And this country has to no change. Ridiculous. Why? They are no different than a monarchy, a, a dynasty living within the confines, uh, confines of government. It's terrible. Why? Because because we have given them the opportunity that we haven't lobbied and changed those laws. There's many ways for us to change those laws. Mostly for the donation class. The donation class has ruined this country. But, but exactly. So, and a part of it is it comes back to the one percent. Because Trump doesn't have political experience. Trump ran. Trump ran for political office as a Democrat in the past, and he ran as the Green Partier. Sure, he changed his opinions. I was I was a communist at one point, and I changed myself. I look at it, and I was like, it's not for me. I'm gonna be a libertarian because that's what that's who I align with. And then I look at the socialist side, and I look at socialist libertarians do assist. I communicated with a couple of them, and I, and I believe that I'm a socialist libertarian because I believe in my views. And I, you know, now I also believe that you, 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 everybody here can have the right to believe in what they want. The Constitution's first, like the first amendment in the Constitution said that we have the right to be who we want. You can talk, you can do, and you can be who you want. And that is perfectly written there. That is the only amendment that does not need a law to change to change it whatsoever. It's an interesting because, interpretation of the first because amendment. Because it is perfectly written for us to be who we want. It is perfectly written for you to express who you want to express and be. And you have the problems of like these anti-LGBT bills where it's like, I, I don't see the point of wasting time legislating against it. You're wasting taxpayers' time trying to create a group that is the out group who is then in a position of being victimized. But the, have, there is legitimacy. For, for eternity, you know? Yeah. The, the idea that they can put legislation against them means that people, bad faith actors, will use it as a force. I appreciate you being out here. And, and I appreciate you being so kind. I'm talking to myself now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime, ma'am. This about you, too. Absolutely. Have a good day. So, you know, but that's what I was getting at, you know? That's what you said right now. There should be no reason why the government, anybody in the government should be talking about how so, how someone should live their life, how someone should, what they should do with their body. Like right now, and I'm going to bring one, one of the biggest ones in Ohio, abortion rights. Everybody says that's not the woman's right, but, but what, why isn't the woman's right to have an abortion? Why, why isn't it up to her? Because that life hasn't been created. You know, everybody has a different opinion on that. But my opinion is, if the woman wants to have an abortion because she cannot take care of the baby, what is going to happen to that baby when it's born? Either the woman's going to end having a whole entire problem to life, carrying that child, which is going to put her to death. It's going to take away everything that she can do in life. But the Republicans don't see that. And, and, and that's what I'm saying, you know? And you're correct on that. The, the idea that you can just birth children endlessly into destitution and poverty with no future and no outlet is a crime against that child. Having the option to avoid that amount of suffering, I think, is fine. I think and, and, you know, fine and, you know who are mostly, and you know who are mostly targeted and affected by this law? Are black and brown people. Yeah. Because this laws were created to affect black and brown people. When you cannot have an abortion legally, who's mostly going to be affected? That poor black mom who has have, who has gone through the systemic racism of the our system the systematic problem that we have just gonna be affected and then just gonna go sure just gonna try to play for food stamps and then what the government is gonna say the problem the lady behind the counter is gonna go oh, look at you welfare queen that, that's the and that's gonna cause a problem and that's gonna cause a problem because now then you have then you have the rich one percent complaining oh my taxes are getting taken away Elon Musk hasn't paid a fair amount of taxes in about 25 years a fair amount of taxes have not come out of that man's pocket. Joe Biden, who's the president, has not paid a fair amount of taxes in his probably entire life to the government, nor has Trump. And that's why he's been prosecuted for it. And that's why Joe Biden is also living his best life. Our politicians also don't pay their taxes a fair amount. And that's a problem. Why are you and I, the little people here, paying twice as much for the little jobs that are paying on 15 and maybe 13 an hour, which is not even past the minimum wage? Let's be honest, it's, it's, it's minimum wage, but it's not a livable wage. And we have to pay double the taxes. Well, it's like the fact of how it's policed. It's that if you and I don't pay our taxes, they're going to put boots to door and they're going to they will. punish you. Because but they're not the going to do it to anybody with a notable platform or is making they're money. They're not going to do it to Elon Musk. They won't do it to the U.S. Army when, when, when they lost airplanes or when, or when they lose, like, tanks. Tens of millions of dollars of tax that. paying infrastructure gone missing, unaccounted for. No one. We know where it went. It went to Israel. To to commit mass genocide of the Palestinian people. Which is a terrible thing going on. It is awful that any amount of American money is going towards that. It, it, is, it is awful that any, 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 you, you are correct. It is awful that any amount is going to that because right now, 
we either we either give it the blind eye and are the assholes to the world, or we decide to take a side and we're also the assholes to the world. At that point, we just don't give Israel anything. Because if Israel didn't have the weaponry that the United States is sending to them and the money, they wouldn't be able to, to win this war. They wouldn't be able to fight it because they are not able to. Why don't we They're not capable to. They're not, where, they, won't, our they won't be capable. Where's our anything for any of our civilians? Like, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying, you know? We're, we're, why are we getting involved in foreign affairs when our country is going through the worst times? I mean, there's an argument that never evolved past 1968. But we're talking just civil, so I don't need, I don't need someone to if, if you look at like... I'm, 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 I'm just saying, I don't need you to block us, please. I know it's your campus, but I just don't need you to block us. Yeah, I'm gonna go skateboard for a little bit. Be good. All right. I just need us. I don't need you to block us. That's just rude. Can I can I have your faculty name, please, so I can talk to the president of the campus? You're in public grounds, so I will be taking a photograph of you. You'll see you're aware. And I will be sending this to the to the person at camp. Okay? I will just be sending it to your president. So as I was saying uh, before, the, the rude lady decided to block us because she probably doesn't agree with us, and she's pro pro Kyle Rittenhouse uh, from what I'm seeing. She's probably a white supremacist too. So you know, we should we should not be involved in this situation. It is it is not your tax dollars and my tax dollars are coming for it. We should not be involved in it. Yeah, I hate taxes. We all do. I hate taxes as much as you do. I hate taxes as much as every other person do because they're they're unfairly taken away from us. You know, every, the government can fund everything by themselves. If, if you look at the Congre at, at a paycheck of a congressperson, we can pay. If you look at her paycheck, we can definitely get, get taxes away from some of us. I mean, could the average person scrounge up four hundred dollars for just a household emergency? If you went and asked one in ten people, could they come up four hundred in cash? If house, I'm a homeowner. If my house right now was, if my house right now was, if something happened, I would have to take a bank loan to be able to fix it. Yeah. And I and I and I work for the government. It, 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 it doesn't matter what, even if you are a low level government employee, you're still not in, in the means of crime or economic force. You don't make, you don't make, many people in the government don't make enough to sustain themselves. Many people outside of the government, but then, you have, but then you have the people in Washington making more than what they should. And they've been living, and they've been living this life forever. Joe Biden has been living the, the amazing political life. He's been getting paid so much over the years. I mean, he is a career politician in every sense of the word, riding the coattails of better men than him. Like Obama. And you know, there is so much that is so badly, it's just okay. horrible. Oh, it, it is. And the division, as you say, it's right. The, the divisions are made to profit off of our suffering. White versus black, intersex versus uh, traditional gender binary. Any of those things are used as platforms to milk money out of the American people. I mean, the fact that there is anti-LGBT legislation, you're paying for it. You're paying for stupidity and waste time. I don't care about uh, what bathroom anybody wants to use. I care about the fact that in our local community, you go right over the Akron, there are people sleeping in the Sherman Williams parking lot because both the industry went out and the people can't afford to live in their own cities. You just mentioned the perfect company, Sherman Williams. Yep. They're, get, they're getting tax write offs, but, but they're going in Cleveland, they're dumping shit on our rivers. They're, they're polluting our rivers in Cleveland and they claim it's an accident and then they get away with it. They're one of the pillars of the community that does nothing. Have you seen the communities? Have you seen the towns? They're not helping those tenants. That are, that are like, they're not helping the people that are in their parking lot no. sleeping, and that's what I'm saying. Our government is thinking, is acting on the wrong things. Like right now, the mayor come out and congrat, like the mayor of Akron come out and congratulate right himself on what he's yeah, done. I'm betting that Kent State has to pay every single one of these officers a little bit of overtime. They have to pay her no, overtime for be here blocking me and you yeah, from having a civil conversation because she doesn't understand that. Kent State's probably paying them all yes. overtime. I didn't think we were at a piece. But, right, but, 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 but you have to pay them all probably overtime. So that means that that, 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 that money that could have been used to do something for the campus to help the homeless students okay, but is going to these people that are being do, that are useless doing little to none right now. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, I, I think that's, a, that's, that's an going, interesting you know, point because there are students that are in, um, you know, their housing is in flux. There, there is a chance that they might not be able to afford it or halfway through the semesters they can be just guys, an economic destitution. Yeah, 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 yeah. May, may I ask, have you experienced homelessness in the time being around? I'm homeless right now. Homeless right now. The college, instead of spending probably the thousands and they spent to have Kyle Rittenhouse come to college, they could have helped. Pronouns? Uh, she did. They could have helped them get get their 
of housing situated. That's where I'm going with. Yeah. You know, they could help them. They could help all the homeless students that are going through homeless and they're going to food situations and problems. They could help them. They could help those students that are going. But the that. chaos is good. And it's by design. The hope is to rally up the local Northeast Ohio students enough to get into an altercation with one another to make. You may make television. I mean, that's why the news media is here. Ohio, I hope that we beat the living hell out of If Ohio, Ohio, needed, if Ohio needed money, Ohio made hell of a good money in Eclipse State. They make so much money. I mean, $80 parking lots in downtown Cleveland. 150 you were closer to the stadium. Amazing prices for a parking lot, isn't it? They, they, they didn't need, they didn't need, this event does not need to happen. Well, if it was up to them, they'd turn the walk in a park into a luxury for top They would have. I mean, it is absolutely absurd. It's always about the one okay, thank you. Now, let me, let me ask you, how do you pay to go in today? To this? Did they ask? No, I'm a student. Okay, so, 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 but the people outside of here needed to pay, right? Students didn't pay, but other people did. I'm not sure, but I was confused on how, because like some people got risk and stuff. Okay. But do you use your student email? Excuse me, American flag, gentlemen. Do, are you a student? No. Do you pay to get in today? No. No, did nobody, no, none of you pay to get yeah, in today? I think it's, I think are you guys a lot nice? Or you, no, 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 so you guys didn't have to pay? <laughs> okay, then, thank you, I, I didn't know that part, so. I was gonna tell you that people pay, but they, if they didn't pay, then it was a free event. I wasn't sure of the, the very nitpick, no, no, but, but thank you. Details no, 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 of that. Thank you for confirming that. You know, but the college, the college needed, the college used money. This university used their, their money to host this event. If you have a political science department on campus, this is it. This is what it's all about. And I'm betting you right now, I can, I'm betting you that if I was to call Kent State and ask them, can I do, can I do an event to talk to the students about socialism and libertarianism, they will tell me no. They will literally not allow me to have an event because I am not oh, wanna, a murderer like book writer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But Je probably, I, I, I would be a little afraid that we'll let Jeffrey Dahmer here if, like if he was matrix. alive. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if they would have. Yeah, I would I would have. That, 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 and, that's my, and that's my biggest issue. I haven't actually done that. No, you gotta do like the, I don't know how to set it up. I can do like the infinite. But hey, I'm, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on a little bit to that crowd over there. I do appreciate it. I don't know if you wanna hand it, but I do appreciate it. Oh, no, great. It was a good talk to you. I'm glad we had this interaction. My name is Juan, by the way. I'm Carlos. Carlos, that's the middle name. I'm Juan Carlos. There you go. Look at that. That's funny. I do appreciate you talking to me. Yeah, appreciate you. Thank you. Good discourse. Oh, I got to say, are you a human guy?